Hello and welcome. Today I'm just going to make a quick video to show how to get Advanced Genie Editor working after the most recent update, that is the Dynasties of India DLC, because a lot of people have been having issues, and I had them too, and I figured it out, and I thought I'd show you guys. So first thing is, you want to get Advanced Genie Editor from your game directory, and you'll find it in the Tools Builds folder, this one right here. And then you can sort by date modified because it will have been modified recently in the update. And there you go, right there. You can also download it from external sites, but those might not always be as up to date. Usually, the one in the in the games folder is the most up to date version. So then you open that up. Window that asks you to input um, lots of strings for it. Now. It might not look like this for you when you start. It might look more like that, or it'll be empty. So the first thing here is to make sure that you have Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, that it says that. So just click on that. And now the next problem you might have is that the path might not correspond with your actual path. For example, my path for all these files is dsteam rather than, because I use a custom path, rather than C program files. I already, you can put in a drive letter override, but you can't put in a, a path override. So then what you do is you just, you just open up all of these and put them to the correct location. So you can, you can open one of these and choose the correct thing, or you can just modify the path to be correct. In my case, I've now the correct override. I just need to go like this, and the path should be correct. There we go. And then we'll do it for the other things. Now, if you don't do this, there are a couple of reasons why it might crash. One is it might say Age of Empires 1 Definitive Edition here. This is due to a recent change where one more, um, one more possible game was added, or patch. Expanding fronts. It might also be because, say, you don't have these palette configuration files selected. I don't know if that can cause the crash, but they won't be selected if you use an older version because this wasn't an option back then. But basically, you set up all your paths. You just I just clicked this that activated the default paths, and then you make sure that they're actually correct. You can browse to find the files, and you can adjust. You can also type and adjust as needed, and then you open, and it doesn't crash. So enjoy. Hopefully this helps you ask any questions in the comments.